What's up guys? So before I get this going, huge shout out to Trailhopper1 for once again loaning me a beastly quarterback card. So here we go. Award winner Tyrod Taylor, 88 overall chain mover style. 6 foot 1, 87 speed, 87 awareness, 86 throw mid, 90 throw on the run, 78 play action, 89 throw short, 91 throw power, and 82 deep throw. Now he does have some decent running moves with the uh, 84 spin and 88 juke. Also has I believe a 76 carry so even though he's not guaranteed to fumble like every single time it doesn't mean that he won't fumble. Now in Madden 16 I did mention that you know the first few quarterbacks that were going to be released in the game might struggle with the short pass and that's pretty much proven the opposite you know pretty much every quarterback that I reviewed you know played just fine with the short throw as you can see so Tyrod Taylor was no exception just fine with the short throw. Now I've said so many times before that the mid throw is probably the most important throwing stat for any quarterback in the game because it's pretty much the majority of passes that we throw are you know mid throws you know of course we throw deep throws and short throws here and there but I'm pretty sure that most of us throw the uh, mid throw more than anything else and he was not perfect by any means he did have a few bad passes here and there but overall he was solid you know put it where it needed to be very accurate very dependable and you would think with Tyrod Taylor that you would want to scramble all the time, you know, throw on the run, roll out, so on and so forth, you know, the read options and, and uh, such. But if you want to turn him into a pocket passer, that's just fine because that's what I did and it worked amazing. So if you want to turn him into a pocket passer, don't be afraid to. Now he only has 82 deep throw, but you would not believe it playing with him because almost every time I threw it, it was perfectly placed. Right here, through a bullet, that safety almost had a shot at it, but because of his accuracy and his throw power, it got there just in time. And right here, through a nice little touch pass, and it was perfectly placed. Now, he was not perfect, of course, he had like one or two completely overthrown, but overall it was solid. I think like 15 deep throws and only two of them were overthrown, that's not a bad percentage, so from what I saw, very respectable. Throwing on the run with, with Taylor was so much fun because it confused the hell out of the, you know, my opponents, especially if they try to use her, like right here. He has no idea who to cover, the uh, receiver, the tight end, or me. It's so confusing. He just gives you that extra dimension. Like right there, he decided to blitz me at the last second. It backfired. I decided to throw it. That's what he offers you, man. And you would think that this is what he does best, but technically there's one thing that he did do a bit better. But throwing on the run, believe me, was very, very good. Now like I've been saying, he's not perfect. Sometimes passes will get away from him, like right there. That one was just a little off, this one was really off. So the only good thing I can say about this is that it was not really frequent. You know, sometimes he will go two or three games with zero bad passes. And then, you know, all of a sudden, this right here happens. So keep that stuff in mind. And speaking of keeping things in mind, if you decide to run with him, I really suggest sliding or going out of bounds. I know the temptation is there, believe me, I get it. but you know 76 carry is not that great honestly because stuff like this was happening more often than I would like so I get the temptation but I would say be safe slide or just go out of bounds and speaking of running that is exactly what I feel that he did best and you see right there I tried to juke it did not work and I did mention before that you know it seems like if you try to juke or spin and if you fail you just might get a higher chance of a hit stick and that's not what you want for your quarterback and the reason I feel that this is what he did best is because I mentioned this with Derrick Henry. The linebackers and, and defensive ends are not that fast yet. You know, fastest linebacker is 87 speed, and not everybody has that linebacker. You know, and defensive ends not even close. So you see right here, look at people just diving at his feet trying to catch him. That's what makes him so dangerous. Now, just because I say this, what he does best does not mean that this is the only thing you should do with him. I mean, look at this right here. Look how many yards he's getting because it, it's just not expected. And like I mentioned before, throwing on the run. If you throw on the run a lot, your opponent will panic because he's not going to know whether to cover the receiver or you. And right there, you see, you see what I'm saying? That defensive end was just too slow to get me. But anyways, this is why I feel he is a true, true dual threat in this game. He can throw it accurately, you know, in the pocket or on the run, or you can just do this right here, scramble. And of course, as you see right there, slide, guys, just slide. And if you want to make him a pocket passer, you absolutely can. But if you decide to run with them, he's just so agile and he can do stuff like this for you. So as you can see guys, A's up and down the board, a very, very dangerous quarterback. Except the carry rating. Just watch out for that man. Slide, 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 slide. Now the fact that he's so, you know, dangerous, you know, scrambling, throwing on the run, being a pocket passer, 
of course that makes him so valuable but whether or not he's worth 230,000 if you've got the coins and that's the offense you run I say go for it but if you don't have the coins I say what the hell go with Kirk Cousins he's not as fast but he's just fast enough to get out the pocket and of course he can throw in the run as well but anyways guys that's gonna wrap this up my next review is gonna be Herman Moore the legend receiver guys if you liked what you saw don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you'll be up to date with the content when it drops I'll see you boys later man peace